The M60 Patton tank has long held a place in the history of armored warfare, but in 2026, it has returned in a way no one quite expected. What was once seen as a relic of Cold War strategy has been completely transformed. This isn't a museum. Peace rolling back onto the battlefield, it's a reinvention of an American classic, rearmed, upgraded, and ready for combat. The question is, just how powerful is the 2026 M60 Patton, and can it really stand against the modern threats of today's high-tech battlefields? The original M60 Patton was introduced back in 1960, designed to counter the growing threat posed by Soviet armor. It saw extensive use throughout the Cold War, served in the Gulf War in some Allied forces, and proved to be reliable, rugged, and easy to maintain. But as military technology evolved, the M60 was eventually retired from frontline service in favor of more advanced tanks like the M1 Abrams. For decades, it looked like the story of the M60 was over. That is, until now. Fast forward to 2026, and the US military, along with key defense contractors, has unveiled a massively modernized version of the M60. This isn't just a tweak or a retrofit. This is a full transformation with changes that make it competitive, relevant, and surprisingly lethal in today's combat scenarios. At first glance, the tank still carries the silhouette of the original Patton series, but look closer and you'll realize almost everything under the armor has changed. Let's start with firepower, because that's what most people are curious about. The 20-6M-60 is equipped with a modern NATO standard 120mm smoothbore cannon, replacing the original 105mm refilled gun. This new weapon gives it firepower comparable to that of current generation main battle tanks. It's capable of firing the latest armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabo rounds, high-explosive anti-tank munitions, and even programmable airburst shells. This alone significantly elevates its threat level on the battlefield enemy. Armored vehicles, bunkers, and infantry formations are no longer safe from an old tank like the M60, but a gun is only as good as the system supporting it. The fire control system has been completely digitized. Thermal imaging, infrared targeting, laser range finding, and real-time ballistic calculation now allow the M60 to engage targets with precision during the day, at night, and in low visibility. Environments, one of the original weaknesses of older tanks was their difficulty firing accurately while on the move. That's no longer a concern here. Thanks to advanced stabilization and smart optics, the M60 can now hit targets on the go. With remarkable accuracy, mobility has seen major improvement as well. The old diesel engine has been replaced with a powerful, turbocharged diesel or hybrid system depending on the variant producing over 1,000 horsepower. Combine that with a revamped transmission and suspension system, and you get a vehicle that is faster, more responsive, and better suited to urban warfare or rapid deployment. Despite its weight and age, the new M60 can move with surprising agility, keeping up with modern mechanized infantry and support vehicles. When it comes to protection, this is where the transformation gets really interesting. Armor is always a balance between weight and survivability. The 2026 M60 uses a combination of advanced composite armor and reactive explosive tiles that detonate on impact to disrupt incoming projectiles. In addition, many variants are now equipped with active protection systems that use radar and countermeasures to detect and destroy incoming rockets or anti-tank missiles before they hit the tank. This technology was once reserved for top-tier tanks only but the integration into the M60 shows how far battlefield survivability has evolved. Internally, the crew compartment is lined with small protection and energy-absorbing materials, increasing crew safety from internal blasts or fragmentation. Now, let's talk about why this tank is back. Why would the US military or its allies bother reviving such an old platform? The answer comes down to flexibility, cost-effectiveness, and strategic diversity. Not every battlefield requires the raw power and high cost of an M1 Abrams or Leopard 2. In low-intensity conflicts, peacekeeping operations, or urban defense scenarios, a modernized M60 provides more than enough capability without the massive expense. It allows forces to field more tanks, cover more ground, and maintain presence in key regions without draining budgets or burning through high-end assets. This also makes the new M60 an ideal candidate for foreign military sales. Countries that can't afford the Abrams, but still want a powerful, reliable, and modern tank are lining up for this new version of the Patton. 
Think of it as a second-tier solution that still delivers first-class performance in many parts of the world. The 2026 M60 would easily dominate the battlefield, especially against outdated armor or irregular forces using guerrilla tactics. However, it's important to recognize the limitations too. Even with these upgrades, the M60 isn't invincible. It doesn't have the same advanced networking systems or stealth features that are being introduced into next-gen tanks. It still relies on a crew of four, including a manual loader, which makes it slower in reload time compared to some auto-loader equipped tanks. It lacks advanced AI-assisted targeting systems that are becoming standard in futuristic armored vehicles. But that's not really the point of this upgrade. The 2026 M60 wasn't built to be the best in every category. It was built to be good enough where it counts and affordable enough to be used widely. The truth is, power on the battlefield is about more than just numbers and specs. It's about reliability, adaptability, and strategy. And in that sense, the new M60 is surprisingly powerful. It gives commanders more options. It gives allies a competitive platform. And it brings a piece of history roaring back into relevance. Don't imagine seeing this tank once thought obsolete trolling confidently beside drones, infantry carriers, and even Abrams tanks, playing its role with strength and pride. It's a reminder that old doesn't always mean outdated. With the right upgrades, even a Cold War era tank can become a modern warrior. So, is the 2026 M60 Patton powerful? Absolutely. Maybe not the most powerful tank in the world, but powerful where it matters most in versatility, cost efficiency, and combat readiness. It's a tank that has earned its second life, not as a relic of the past, but as a strategic asset for the future. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the modern M60, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more military tech breakdowns, and let us know in the comments would you put the 20-6 M60 on the battlefield.